Every month, Sinpai blesses us with a donation deck list. This month, we're trying to see how big can we make a Dreadhorde Arcanist and how big of a spell can we flash back. Can we flash back a Lorien Revealed? Let's find out. All right. Welcome back, Vintage Gamers, to a donation deck list from Senpai. This month's Senpai donation um, was around Dreadhorde Arcanist and pumping Dreadhorde Arcanist to flashback, hopefully, all the way up to flashback Lorien Revealed. Um, let me just show you what Senpai originally put through. We had this um, eight-creature Delver-style shell, except this one's looking a little bit more like Infect with uh, a bunch of pump spells to allow you to easily cast your Lorien Revealeds and some other fun uh, blue cards. Uh, however, I, I really, really, really did not want to play green cards in the deck, so we are looking to try to do this style of deck inside of a blue red shell. Um, and this is what I have come up with, with, a, with some help from Senpai as well. Um, we are going to use some a new blue card that we haven't actually been able to make a video with yet, but um, definitely is a card that sees some amount of brewing in other formats. This is uh, Prof's Idea... I, I, why do you make me pronounce things? Ide I, eidetic? Eidetic memory. Anyways, this is a legendary enchantment that has an ETB draw card. You have no maximum hand size, and for at the start of combat on your turn, for every card you've drawn past the first one, you will get X plus one plus one counters on a creature you control. So this, uh, on, the, on the first turn you play it, will immediately at least pump your Dreadhorde Arcanist to a 2-3. Uh, and then, of course, if you do something like uh, Ancestral or Brainstorm, you're going to get big pumps very quickly. Um, there are some cards that you can play that make this uh, grow faster. You could play some Lootings. You could play uh, some by suggested Burning Inquiry. Um, but we're going to try to stick to some of the more reasonable choices with, uh, of course, our Ancestral Brainstorm Ponder. But we're also going to try some Ancestral Angers. This is a newer card that gets uh, plus one, plus zero. And then if you have other Ancestral Angers in your yard, it gets more plus ones. Uh, but the key here is it also draws a card. So at the very least, this card can cantrip, um, and it will actually start pumping our uh, Dreadhorde Arcanist. Now... Playing an entire deck around four Dreadhorde Arcanists is not really enough, so we do have some additional uh, creatures in the deck. We're going to put some Inties in here. Works very well with Dreadhorde Arcanists, pitching spells, uh, pumping Dreadhorde Arcanists on its attack, uh, and also getting us more cards off the top of our library. So I really like Inti here. And then we have this Keldon Flame Sage, which is kind of a Dreadhorde Arcanist, except it's using the top of the library. So when it attacks, look at the top X cards, where X is its power, and you can exile instants and sorceries and cast them for free. Uh, cast one for free, I assume. You may exile and instant or sorcery with mana value X or less from among them, uh, and cast it without paying its mana value. So, um, I have put some interesting cards in here. I am always looking for an ability or a, a deck that can play See the Truth for value. This is a card that has never, ever been good, unfortunately, uh, but I really do always want to try to extract value from this one this is look at the top three cards put one of those in your hand the rest on the bottom however if you cast the spell from anywhere other than your hand you get to put all of those cards in your hand so if we can get a see the truth into the yard and flash it back with a dreadhorde organization that has been pumped by a prof an ancestral anger or an inti we can get a uh, little bit of an ancestral that doesn't draw cards which is uh is bad with profs but good against bowmaster uh or if we actually hit it off the top with flame sage um, if we can always cast it, uh, so that's kind of a nice little thing here. Just a couple of see the truths to see if we can't live the dream. Uh, of course, our, our big goal, our, 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 our goal for the tournament, our goal for the league is going to be to cast a free, uh, Gush or Lorien revealed. That'll be, that'll be what we're going to aim for. Uh, we've put a full Moxen shell because you want to be able to play your Dreadhorde Organist, uh, or your Inti on turn one. So full Moxen, uh, definitely still playing Wastelands and Strip Mines. Uh, and we can, of course, use our full moxing with our Lorien Reveals to make sure we find all of our volcanic islands. You might ask the question, Justin, should this be a Luris deck? Probably. You probably would cut the Flame Sages and play uh, two more two drops, and then you would obviously change up your mana base. But I kind of wanted just to play a, a blue-red mana base for this. Uh, I wanted it to be kind of streamlined and, and see what we can do. Cyborg is nothing super fancy, but you do have some nice cards to go with Dreadhorde Arcanist. Shattering Spree is a uh, Dreadhorde Arcanist favorite. 
the replicate cost is an additional cost that you can cast uh pay after casting so you can uh replicate from your yard we got some pyroblasts so we can flash back with our dread Arcanish. i just chose not to play a bunch of like bolts and removal spells like that instead we have a really high red count in this deck so we're gonna play some furies to help us deal with mono white we have a steel sabotage we can flash back for um nice value between bouncing and countering I am going to stick in an Anarchy for fun. If we can flash back an Anarchy with the Dreadhorn Arcanist, man, that would make me really happy. That's our stretch goal for the uh, the event here. And then I have some Anti-Combo and Dredge Hate. Anything else? Anything else? Maybe I should make these Ravenous Traps because we could theoretically cast them from our graveyard with Dreadhorn Arcanist. That probably is not likely to happen. <laughs> you know, I think we should just take the Leyline of the Void and give ourselves the best chance to be Dredge. <laughs> so um let me know what you think about the deck in the comments uh i think that we did a pretty good job in my mind of capturing this idea while still trying to make it the most playable we possibly could um and so that's our uh, goal for today see if we can't go three two and flash back some five cost spells with our dread horde arcanist see you in round one have you ever wanted to win your own real black lotus the legendary NYSE Vintage Tournament returns this June 22nd on Long Island in New York. 15 proxy, high stakes, paper vintage action with 8 whole pieces of unlimited power as prizes. You are not going to want to miss it. Check out more information in the description below. I hope to see you there. Let's battle. Alright, round 1 on the play. Opponent's revealing a cat, it looks like, which is a good sign. I feel like a cat deck is one of the decks we probably have chances of beating. Uh, however, this deck hand does not contain mana, which is unfortunate. If it contained mana, I think it'd be pretty good. <laughs> Mulligan. Ah, this hand contains Ancestral Recall, which is like mana. I feel like we put back Mystical Tutor. Hit done. Play our Ancestral on their turn. All right. Gush is a nice one with uh, Prof's memory here. We do need one of our eight creatures. I was a little worried that eight creatures was too few, but we do have a lot of draw spells in our deck, so it's probably fine. Isn't eight, I mean, it's like eight to ten is a normal Delver deck, right? Bobble, go. Now we need to be worried about Bowmaster, unfortunately. Wow, even this looks different. Yeah, they 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 edited all the the not frames, but the borders of the older cards. They look different now. Wait, did I not cycle my Lorien reveal because I was talking about the cards? Yeah, I didn't cycle my Lorien reveal because I was talking about the cards. Nice. All right, so I am going to uh, cast See the Truth because it doesn't play into a Bowmaster. Uh, that's true. We can just cast Lorien. That is a fair point. I am really worried about getting Bowmastered, though. Maybe that doesn't matter. I feel like it matters. If I had to guess, I would say it probably matters. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can find a creature off of this truth here. And if it gets flustered, I think that's okay. Actually, it's probably for the best if it gets flustered. Uh, I guess we're taking a Black Lotus. Uh, we're just going to get freaking Bow Mastered, right? Didn't I play a Moxin that turn? Pretty sure I played a Moxin first. So the Storm Count should exist. I don't know why... Oh, like there's no Storm Count showing, so they can't have a Fluster? That might be true. That might be true. Alright, I, I feel like I'm not supposed to just jam this Lorien Revealed into a... Bowmaster, and instead I can gush in response to a Bowmaster. Maybe I should play out the Lotus first. So I can't get Spell Pierced. 
Because I can still pump something if I draw it off of this and play it into Lotus, right? Yeah, so they had a Bowmaster. Not the best use of Gush, but... Yeah, I mean, that kind of thing's... Oh, actually... Uh, are we allowed to force this, Bowmaster? I feel like we should. Drawing another land was probably not great for me. Really want to draw a creature here. Another memory. Um, man. Alright, well. Eight creatures, baby. <laughs> Haven't found one yet. Upkeep Vamp. Must be Ancestral then. Yeah, here's the Ancestral. I really wish we had a Lurus. That's that's what I'm with. That's a, that's what I was wishing for right here was a Lurus. All right, there's my Dreadhorde Arcanist. So that's good. I just don't know if it's going to resolve at this point. Resolves? That's good. Maybe I'm supposed to play another memory here to pump this immediately. I don't really feel like I want to, though. I feel like keeping my Black Lotus around is better. If we want to, we can play this memory next turn, pump this once, and cast See the Truth from the graveyard. But for some reason, I... Oh, come on! Soul Guide Lantern! <laughs> All right, bye-bye, Ancestral Recall. By Luris, maybe. Can still cast the Sea the Truth. They, obviously, they're gonna exile our graveyard, but uh, I don't know the new one. Through a ponder. Uh, I think I'm willing to cast ponder here. Obviously, there's some amount of nonbo with see the truth and oh man, I want all of these magic cards. Well, not the force of will, but I think we're gonna get the force of will anyways. Uh, see the truth doesn't pump the profs, but anything you cast while attacking with the Bre the dread horde is not going to pump the profs anyways. So, oh, I guess I'm not going to get those cards because I'm going to get my ex library exiled. But this thing will, this thing will at least get rid of some of the cards off the top of my library, which is nice. Um. All right, I'm going to pump this with plus one, plus one counters equal to the cards we've extra drawn here. And they're going to get my yard, yeah. I guess I didn't have to pump this. I could have pumped this and it would have gotten better. But I could enlist this next turn, right? Maybe I should do that. I'm pretty sure un enlist is tap and untap non- Whatever creature, non-used creature. Lorien revealed draw three. I feel like they're dying, though. And I have a wasteland for a saga. Yeah, I didn't include any delve spells in my deck, because I didn't know how much we would be, like, taking cards out of our yard, and we didn't want to, like, delve away the ancestral angers. So, I didn't know. But... All right, so they can't kill my Flame Sage, so I'm pretty sure we are supposed to enlist. Because I don't think you can enlist this, right? Because it has to be non-summon. So I'm going to play this. 
And then I'm going to fetch away so that I don't um, draw that force of will. And then I'm going to see how to enlist work. How does enlist work? I have to attack first. So attack and enlist. Choose a creature to enlist. Oh, I can only choose one creature. All right. Well, I still want to enlist this thing. Did it do it? I, I don't know what it just... I, I hope it did. Undo. Reset attacking creatures. In Attack and enlist. Choose a creature to enlist. This one. Okay. It's enlisted. I need to stack it so the enlist happens first. So click this one first. All right. It's enlisted. This becomes five power. And then I look at my top five cards. And I can cast an instant or sorcery. Ah, oh, I didn't hit Alorian revealed. That's so sad. All right. Uh, I will exile this, and then I will choose to cast this on this. Okay. I mean, I didn't want to draw any of my lands either, so... Hmm. Ponder's good, though. All right, so they take six. So as long as I don't get Volt Keyed, I'm pretty sure we're going to win this game. But at any point in time, I can get Volt Keyed, so. Or, like, Twistered or something. I just don't have a Force back up here as a Mental Misstep. Sure. Okay, I mean, they're at six, so they have to win the game this turn. Not, not much I can really do either way. They put Luris in hand. That's a good sign. I mean, they're dead on board, right? I could save my Ponder so I can pump with Profs. I think that's worse than using my mana. They've wastelanded a lot of Volcanics in this game, huh? They're dead on board, right? This is six damage. Maybe they have a Bowmaster. Mystical Tutor. Uh, I mean, I want to get a time walk. Wait, I can put a time walk on top and then cast it with Sage, right? But yeah, it's kind of sick, isn't it? This one doesn't have trample, right? Only those ones have trample. Oh, wait, I need to order this in a way that. Oh, my God, hold on. Um, So I want this one first. And I want this one on pawn. Do I want how many do I want to actually cast, though? Like, if they have a Bowmaster, it makes a 3-3. Three, three. I think I can just cast all of them, right? Maybe I should only cast one. So I'll put a Mystical Tutor on the bottom. I'll put a Ancestral Anger to give my thing Trample on the top. And then on the before all of those, I'm going to Flame Sage out a Time Walk. All right, I'm going to Flame Sage out a Time Walk. Wait, this deck's kind of kind of fun. Oh no, I got negated. So they have. All right, so then I'm going to anger a. Oh, I should have done this in the other order so that I could put a Lightning Bolt on top of my library. God damn it! Ah, I almost I almost had the right order here. Because if I had done it Mystical first, then I could have Light and Bolted this turn, right? I mean, I'm still going to win because I'm time walking into a Lightning Bolt, right? So I think it's fine. 
I thought I was so smart, and I still missequenced it. Oh, no, they negated my time walk. True. So I don't get a time walk. I might need more answers to Bowmaster. I'm supposed to just put a bolt on top of my library, right? Yeah. Then my lightning bolt can get bolted. Uh, my lightning bolt can get uh, negated, huh? I guess I can't Lorien revealed, so I should probably have Lorien revealed in response to that. Uh, this is lethal still, because this has trample now. No, it's not lethal. It's actually one short. So if they want to keep their Bowmaster so that they can Time Twister, then this is a fine block. Maybe I should have put some Flame Jabs or whatever. Wait, this is a block that doesn't make any sense, right? Yeah. These are both Tramplers, so this makes the block that makes the most sense. It kills this, and then you keep your Bowmaster, and you go to two. Wait, what is going on? Oh, they want to rebuy it with Luris. But they already had one to rebuy with Luris. All right, whatever. You got it. I mean, if they just have another negation, it's kind of bad for me. Like, if they go Luris negation, then it's like... I guess I just attack with Dread Horde and it's fine. Uh, mm, rebought lantern. So I wasteland this underground sea, and then in the beginning of combat, we bolt and see what happens. They're going to cycle their Soul Guide Lantern, so they have to hit Negation now. And even if they don't, they lose their Luris to a Dreadhorde Arcanist. Not bad! Not bad! Not bad! Not bad! Okay. Uh, I'm going to bring in some Furies, because I actually think I care about Bowmaster a little bit here. Anything else I need? Do I need to bring in a Shattering Spree to deal with some Constructs, or no? Probably good to have a shattering spree. Um, but how do I fit these cards? I don't know how to fit these cards, though. Maybe it's only like two furies and a shattering spree. And then we play... What do we want to cut? Like Mystical Tutor? But the Mystical Tutor is like the reason to play one shattering spree, though. Hmm. I don't really know how we board in this deck, considering we don't have a lot going on. Probe, I guess. It's probably free to cut Probe. Maybe we play one... I mean, See the Truth is, like, good against Bowmaster, though. Like, we can cut forces, but if they combo kill us, I'm going to be sad. But we could cut... We just cut all our forces. Though that's technically an answer to Bowmaster, right? 
I mean, we could cut forces and play Pyro. I guess there's like not actually that many cards that Pyro hits. Kind of seems bad. I mean, Shattering Spree only hits uh, Constructs, but I feel like that's an actual use case that we care about. So, I mean, we could just play no forces and hope our opponent doesn't combo kill us. In Dredge? Uh, no. But I feel like we can make a deck with it. I, I, I uh, hold on. I, I have a new video. Did you see the video? I have a new video. If you haven't seen the video yet, let me, uh, let me make a command. Why does it do that? Why, 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 why copy? Uh, adcom, uh, outlaws. There you go. Um, Exclamation mark outlaws for card reactions. I missed a little bit of in that video, but it's fine. The link should be in chat now. So, all right, what do we got? We got an inti and some fast mana. I'm down. I don't really think Flame Sage is that good, but um, I think it's fine. The Thursday challenge has been fixed. So for anyone who doesn't know, what watching this video um, should come out on Friday. So it'll be it'll be after the first challenge or before the second challenge. There are two new vintage challenges every week. Uh, Daybreak has released a Thursday uh, morning challenge, which is oh look at the shattering spree being freaking brilliant. Um, they released a Thursday morning challenge, which will be at God. I have it on my Twitter. It's pinned on my Twitter. Uh, you can also go to mtgoupdate.com. That's a good one. Uh, let me just quickly look. It's not pinned on my Twitter, huh? Probably should be. So there's a new Thursday challenge at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Central European time. And then there's a Friday challenge at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, 12 a.m. Saturday, midnight Central European time. So two more. They've doubled the number of vintage challenges every week um so we're gonna see some interesting things if those fire so if those time slots are good for you check them out i what it means for me is most likely i'm gonna be uh going between friday and saturday challenges which depending on what's better for me uh like this week i'm gonna probably stream the friday evening challenge because saturday is my grandma's 90th birthday so there will be a little bit of a celebration for that uh and i'd like to be there obviously so it'll be a good uh excuse to get out I am thinking, hmm, we have some options here, because we can either Wasteland and Shattering Spree for exactly two, or we could Shattering Spree for three, make sure something is killed. Um, I, I kind of think I like Wasteland... Well, I guess, to be fair, if they negate my Lotus, it's a little annoying. Uh, Wasteland, Lotus, kill both. Yeah, yeah let's just do... Let's do uh, Shattering Spree, Cast with Replicate on Soul Ring, and one additional copy. Additional copy, killing Graft Digger's Cage. Man, that one Shattering Spree is looking a little good right now. And if they actually counter any of this, um, Inti is the card that doesn't care about the graveyard, so. Maybe I should have brought in two Shattering Sprees. They're definitely considering it. They only have four cards left in their hand. What are they going to save? Like, I, I think there is some amount of upside to not wastelanding. And what are they going to save? They're going to save the Graft Digger's Cage. Interesting. 
No, wait, they're going to save the soul ring. Okay, that makes more sense to me. So they negated uh, one of the copies. Oh, the real one. They negated the real one. That kind of makes sense as well. Should I have put the real one on Graph Digger's cage and the fake one on Soul Ring? Um, maybe. I don't know which one my opponent was going to value more, so. Uh, I don't think Cage stops Flame Sage because Saint Flage Sam Flage Flame Sage exiles the card and then you cast it from exile, not from the top of your library. So technically, four out of our eight creatures don't care about Cage. It's just the Dreadhorde Arcanists that do. This Inti looks really good if it survives, because we have a bunch of lands we can pitch. On color Pearl for Luris by Luris, I assume. Yeah. And you have a land? No. Or they're saving a land to play around Wasteland. Could be one or the other. We don't have a force for Luris anymore, but we do have some Furies. All right, so for anyone who has not seen Inti yet, Inti is attack, discard. Whenever you attack, you can discard a card. If you do put a 1-1 counter on an attacking creature, it gains trample. And also, whenever you discard a card, uh, so for this attacking trigger, or also if you cycle with Lorian, that's discarding a card, uh, you can exile your top card, and you may play that card until your next end step. So I am going to fetch and get an island and i'm going to attack and I'm, I'm going to attack first probably yeah because the card you can cast oh wait i just lost my ability to play a land okay so i i screwed it up it's been a little bit uh yeah i should have not played a land first um because now i can't play a land off the top yep i just forgot it's okay uh, yes, so I should have attacked first, and then it would have been better. Let's get rid of a Volcanic. This thing. All right, exile my top card. Is it a land? Punish me. Oh, it's a time walk. Oh, baby, it's a time walk. That is, that is a good one. Mm-hmm. All right, next turn. Uh, all right, second see the truth. I wish I had hit the see the truth off the inti. That would have been pretty sick, but... All right, I will discard a card, and then I will do the thing. And then I will... MTG bot probably isn't working because it's the first day after a, a patch. So we are currently in game two of round one. Unfortunately, I hit the 3-drop, which we can't currently cast because I discarded the land. So, unfortunately, I can't cast this unless I hit a Black Lotus off See the Truth. I hit a Wasteland and two Memories. I guess I'm going to take the Wasteland? Yeah, I'll take the Wasteland. Unfortunately, I pitched my land because I think it was the correct play. Maybe I could have pitched one of my See the Truths. Damn. I still think pitching a land is correct there, right? Oh, wow. They hit on color jet, on color pearl to buy and play their Luris and start bobble looping me. That's crazy. What a, what, 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 what a beast. <laughs> Oh, right, we've already used our Lotus, true. Somehow, that is so bad for me. <laughs> Why double on-color Moxon? All right, well, two cards in hand. True of... Scalding Tarn. I'm sure attacking here is still better because we're drawing cards. Still think getting rid of land is better. Obviously, there's one more three drop in our deck that we can hit. We hit Ancestral Recall. I like that card. 
two cards in my opponent's hand. Kind of unlikely. They have negation blue card. Ah, they had force blue card. Unlucky. Very unlucky. So my opponent is going to gain life back here. And they're going to replay their bobble. Man, if they had a cage in play, they wouldn't be able to replay their bobble. Silly me. And they top decked a saga. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think my opponent has out top decked me here. I do believe opponent has drawn best possibles. Not great. Time walk is gone, so we need to draw... Oh, I don't know. I think we're unfortunately going to die. I'm not seeing the way forward here. Probe. Yeah, we should probe in case we draw a fury, and then we can see into a fury, maybe? An anger. Okay. I feel like we should cast that. And then a prop. Ah! If I had a mana. And right, I'm gonna discard See the Truth. And see what happens. A mental misstep. That is not the one. I mean, this, this, this creature is huge. It's just not gonna be so big to get through this, right? Or is it? It might be. But they're gonna draw so many cards, though. And the minute they find a removal spell... I don't know. Blue card? They drew Ancestral Recall?! Are they not the best player of all time? Ha ha <laughs> what the f- Come on! <laughs> I don't have uh, high hopes for this one, chat. I do not have high hopes for this. <laughs> my opponent is kicking my ass. Uh, okay. Uh huh. All right, so I'm going to play Prof's Memory here. And then that's going to draw a card. And then. Is there any card I'd want to be able to cast at instant speed? I guess. No. So I will attack. Oh, they, I'll get plus one, plus one for drawing a card. And then I'm going to attack with my Inti. And then I'm going to discard a Pearl. And then I'm going to put that on here. And then I'm going to reveal my top card. It's a polluted delta. And then they're going to make a construct to not die. But the construct doesn't kill my inti. And it puts them to three. I think I'm still losing. Which is unfortunate, obviously. But I do think my opponent drew real well, though. Unlucky. Watch them time walk me here. Make a construct time walk. I don't have a bounce spell in my deck, right? I thought about putting a bounce spell in my I thought about playing the uh the, the wizard cycling bounce spell in my deck, the step through. Because step through cycles for a Arcanist and is a bounce spell and triggers Inti. Um so I almost played a step through in my deck, which would have been pretty sick here. They got a Black Lotus. They're going to cast Lorien Revealed, I assume. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's true. A push would have been pretty bad. I mean, what do they play? Two pushes in their deck? Two tops. That's a 7-7 construct now. Soul Guide Lantern. Oh, I, the problem is I'm not even that much bigger than a construct anymore here. 
I mean, we're dead. I think we're dead. Unlucky. Hit the time walk too early. Didn't get enough damage with it. Damn. That's just such a frustrating game, but... What can I do? Uh, I don't have a bounce spell, right? So, I don't have another Shattering Spree. Maybe I should play two Shattering Sprees. Probably. Uh... I mean, they still have the chump block with Construct, so I'm not dead dead, but my opponent sure has a lot of magic cards that matter here. They have a strip mine for my basic island. Very nice. Pretty sure I'm going to fetch on my upkeep. All right. Fury. That's unfortunate. So I have to hit a draw spell off of my Inti here. It's not the worst, though, because if I could kill a Lurus, I'm still bigger than this Construct, so they have to block. Maybe I'm fine. I need a draw spell off of this Inti, though. I drew a Wasteland. Better than nothing. They have to chump with their construct token. We're at seven, so we're not dead to time walk unless they have a bow master. I don't think wastelanding my opponent does anything, but I also don't think wasteland does anything either, so I feel like I'll just wasteland them. <sighs> Looks at my next card. Cycles their lantern. I mean, a bowmaster doesn't save them from an inti. Well, actually, a bowmaster there would have killed the inti, so that would have been pretty good. I can't imagine we win this game, but we do have a 9 9, so. This is another Lorian that uses all their blue mana. They should not have used all their blue mana there, they should have used an emerald and two colorless. I guess they have a Lotus, so it doesn't matter. But they could have recast something better from their yard. There's another Lorian. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Another Lorian? They need a they need a push? They need a push? Wait, are we gonna win this game? There's no way they brick this hard. There's no way they brick this hard. After all of that, you're gonna go 30 cards deep? Actually, they only went five cards deeper than we did. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Time walk. Bowmaster. Game. GG. GG. <laughs> this is what happens when the only removal you play is Soul Rend. Oh, baby, give me the W. Ah, <laughs> that's sweet justice. Because this is 10 damage, right? So they go up to 8, and then they block for 2, and they die. Because this thing is automatically 10 damage as long as we discard. Oh, wait, no, they can block. They can block. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Uh, Alright, well, I'm gonna attack. The game is not over. They can untap and bolt key me. I, I could lose this game. I can lose this game. My opponent blocks with everything. They 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 live, right? 10, 5, 8. Yeah, they live, and then I uh and then I die to Volky. Wasteland. I feel like we've drawn not the cards we were looking for. Oh my god, are we gonna lose this game? I think we're gonna lose this game. After all of that, we're just going to lose this game? Are they going to Twister me? Twister kills me. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to lose. I thought we were going to win. Oh, we're going to die. We're going to die to the Twister. They had just enough to save the whole war. I saved the Bowmaster. Probe? Wait, Probe? Probe is good? 
That's a good sign. Soul Guide Lantern? How many Soul Guide Lanterns are they playing? What the heck is this? Wait, I think, it, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Give the give the 1010 inti what the yeah, yes, suck it, Luris Saga. <laughs> Imagine if they just played four swords of the plowshares, how easy this game would it be? Alright, here we go, round two versus a powerful wizard. I'm on the play again, because I'm a powerful wizard. No, I mean I would reformat my deck to to support uh, Swords to Plowshares and Luris. I think that probably makes my deck better. I just didn't want to do it because it wasn't really on theme. But you can just cut these Flame Sages, play two more creatures, play Luris in your sideboard, play a couple, um, play a couple Tundras and some Swords to Plowshares, and the deck is probably better. So, but I didn't, I didn't really want to do it. Uh, I've drawn another Ancestral Recall because I am a Luxac. Look how nice these look now. Ooh, look at the gold border on this wasteland. Whoa. All right. All right. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to get the basic island so I can cast Dreadhorde next turn and cast Ancestral targeting me. Opponent has Force and they are a Luris deck. Okay. Unfortunately, your Force does not stop my second Ancestral Recall. Da -da -da -da. As long as you can, I think it's actually the most important to cast Ancestral Recall on your opponent's turn, more so than it's ever been in the history of Magic, because not getting your uh, Ancestral negated is the biggest possible deal. Soul Ring, of course, for their Saga. No way for their turn one Saga to make mana unless you have two Moxen, or actually a Moxen and a soul, or a Soul Ring. Classic. All right, well, I have to wasteland that saga. I don't actually have enough saga answers in this deck, probably. You probably need uh, some of the blankety blank ones. Dress downs. Oh, we drew the Black Lotus. So we can play land, play Luris with Black Lotus. Or we can hard cast Lorien. Very nice. Very nice. I see how Luris Saga wins now. You just draw Black Lotus. Everything makes sense. Wait, we're not going to cast Luris, so we're holding up hard cast negation. Is that what's happening here? Maybe we'll draw our own force of will then. I don't think I'm gonna cycle this Lorien revealed because I think I want to be able to play a force of will if I draw it. Uh unfortunate. Is meltdown a consideration? I don't think meltdown helps very much. I don't really like meltdown. I guess I, I understand your point. Uh, I just don't really think that that's better than Shattering Spree in the majority of uh, the time, because you want your cards to be good against um, actual workshops as well. Dressdown is a blue card, pitches the Force of Will, and, and draws a card when you play it, so. Dressdown is pretty damn broken. A second sock. I feel like I'm getting just destroyed right now. My opponent just has all the good cards. They got the one bobble to loop with their Luris. They've got double Saga, Soul Ring, Black Lotus, Bowmaster. So I'm stopping my draw spell. Come on. They probably have a second Bowmaster. Somehow, I think we're not winning this game. Somehow, I don't think we're winning this one, chat. I can't even flashback this Ancestral without losing my stupid Dreadhorde Arcanist. Right, I'm going to ponder and try to find a the one bolt, I guess. I mean, my opponent just, like, oh, yeah. I mean, my, my opponent just had, like, the top 1% one, 1 draw, right? I don't think I'm ever beating this draw. They just had all the restricted mana, so their deck was, their, 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 their uh... The deck was so super strong. I'm going to board out the forces, and I'm going to board in Shattering Spree Fury. I don't think my opponent's going to bring as many cre uh, artifacts in as the other opponent. Uh, I do know who my opponent is, so... I have, have faith in them to make correct decisions. Man, that was like the most absolutely brutal start I've ever seen. Just super strong. Force your Ancestral... Saga Soul Ring, Black Lotus Second Saga. Uh, uh, 
Double Bowmaster. My deck is not good against Double Bowmaster, let me tell you. <laughs> Maybe we do need, like, more answers. That's probably the case. Play some Flame Jabs. Some Lava Darts. Damn. That was super sad. Our star was really good, too. You know our is a static ass or we just get forced there, right? <laughs> I don't like playing Bowmaster. I, I think Bowmaster is like a bit overrated in Vintage. Um, it definitely has its uses, but like there aren't actually any decks that are like mine that Bowmaster really plays preys on, like it preys on in Legacy. The only thing Bowmaster is like incredibly good against is is non Dredge Bazaar. Um, the best part about Bowmaster is letting your deck play Time Twister as and giving yourself a one-two combo. I mean, I would definitely prefer to play like the combo deck versus. That. I mean, I would rather play four dress down, right? I like uh, playing four dress down and playing combo in my deck, but that's that's probably a personal preference thing. So, I think this hand is fine because we have Lorien revealed, so we can just turn this wasteland into a. Um, a volcanic and play an inti or can turn it into a basic. Doesn't really matter. I don't know. Bowmaster definitely has its uses, but I feel like it's a bit less good than people think it is. I do think the key to winning with Lurus Saga is to draw your Moxin because your Moxin are your best cards in your deck, and my opponent is certainly doing that. I guess they have hard cast force. I'm going to need to save this fury because I need to be able to kill the Luris. So I guess I'm going to get a basic island. And then I'm going to get my ponder or memory bow mastered, I guess. So I guess I can kind of play around Bowmaster by Wastelanding. So I'm going to do that. I know that I need to hold this Wasteland for a Saga, but... Um, I kind of need to cast my spells this turn without getting Bowmastered. Are they just going to cycle Lorien Revealed? Interesting. So they're definitely holding something up if they chose not to cast Lorien Revealed there. Uh, yeah, let's just take a peek and see what my opponent's working with first. Double Bowmaster. Flusterstorm, Saga, Dress Down, Lorien. C. I mean, it turns off Hardcast Force if, for whatever reason. I, I mean, it's just correct. I'm not saying it does anything, but it's just a correct play to go to the next phase. They spent their mana. Oh! Okay, they, they spent their mana. That is a true statement. Uh, Okay, you're, yeah, you're right. Um, There wasn't a reason to then. All right, I need to keep this Wasteland for Saga... So we just have to keep these cards no matter what. Mm -hmm. Maybe the mudslide's getting to me. Or maybe I'm garbage at magic. Could be both. <sighs> One of the two. Two of the two. Uh... I'm going to play a memory here. Was this drawing me? Anyone remember? It drawing me an ancestral memory? Hmm. That does kind of sound worse than... I mean, ancestral memory lets me pitch to Fury, though, right? So it's probably fine. I can, then I can cast this into later. Yeah, my Power 9 are good, too. True. I I have drawn a lot of Power Nine already this this league for what it's worth. I've drawn a lot of ancestral recalls, right? So 
but yeah, I mean, hands with power nine are really good in the blue mirror. Hands with power nine are really good in general. My opponent is uh, thinking about my memory here. All right, well, I have my wasteland for your saga. Imagine if they had a stifle or a Teferi's response. How dead I would be. I'd be very dead. Memory is actually pretty sick with Gush, huh? Like, I, I knew that it'd be good because it's a free draw two to put two counters, but it's also really good because of the no maximum hand size. They top deck the Talarian Academy? Hello? Buy and play Luris? Hello? Excuse me? The good news is uh, their counter spell is Flusterstorm, so I can... Ooh, what if they... What if they... Oh, wait, they're just buying Luris. Okay, fair enough. They're holding up Dress Down Flusterstorm. I see. I don't know my next card, right? Ooh, that's a nice one, actually. Let's play Land, Ponder. Oh, Ancestral Mental Misstep. Oh, I can't keep both of these now, though. So I guess I'm keeping Ancestral, right? Keep Ancestral, and then... I mean, I'm, I have to play Inti this turn. Inti is so good this turn. And they're, like, unlikely to have a Counterspell, so... Inti looks a little sick right here. A little great. I could technically gush to put a maximum number of counters on this Inti and maybe draw me into a Force. No, I don't have any forces in my deck, so I can't draw myself into a force. Not that a force would be very good here against Flusterstorm anyways. I guess it's just, do I want to set myself back two land drops, protect myself from Wasteland to put two counters on Inti? going to put us in a bad spot against Flusterstorm on my Ancestral, right? I think the answer is no. But it also plays around Bowmaster, doesn't it? Mm, I'm not sure. Well, I don't know. It's just like such a bad value gush that it's probably not worth casting. Yeah, uh, two additional counters is what I'm saying. This is the kind of spot in the game where I would want to force, but like I find most of the time you don't really want forces in these kind of spots. So is my opponent going to go Luris into Lorien? Is that what's happening here with Buster's Run backup? My opponent has a lot of choices. My opponent's in not a bad spot either. Do I have any counter spells in my deck? I have none, right? Because I didn't board in Pyroblast. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Because I have no way to protect my creatures. And no way to protect my Fury. I don't know. Kind of don't like it, almost. But, like, what am I taking out, really? I don't know. I'm, I'm always going back and forth on forces versus blue black because it. I know my opponent, and I know that they play time vault key and twister. So like forces get better because of that. But not everybody plays those cards. Looks like they're gonna play Lorian reveal with flusterstorm back up here, which makes sense to me. Yeah, so they have eight cards in hand, including Dress Down, Flusterstorm, and Underground Sea. They haven't played their land drop yet. They were holding their land drop for Saga, which also makes sense. So they're going to have Flusterstorm for Ancestral, but if we cast Ancestral first, we can pay for Flusterstorm. But they can have, uh, they can have Bowmaster now, though. So that's a problem, right?
Damn. What are we supposed to do? I guess if we gush first, then our thing doesn't die. And we can ancestral in response. Red. Blue. I we did shuffle the misstep. We did we did. I guess it's just blue blue. Blue blue gush. Now if they bowmaster, I can respond by ancestraling. And then I can fury their board, right? Or maybe not their whole board, but a good part of their board here. We can't play this Fury directly right now because there's a dress down in my opponent's hand. Maybe we should play some gut shots. This is a tough game. They have force of will. Ah. Pitching uh Lorian revealed. So if we were to play so no, no, not me, you're wrong. The the storm is count is not on the screen, even though they have a fluster storm in hand. So So if I play a land, so my one, two, storm, three, four copies, I can actually still resolve Ancestral through a Fluster Storm, right? With a mental misstep. Because right now the storm is two, this storm is three, they make four copies, I pay for three plus misstep one. I mean, it's really bad if they have a Bowmaster, but like, what am I going to do? I can't cast Fury because they have a dress down. It looks like they removed the storm. So my opponent has, yeah, four storm. Let me see if this works first. All right. So hopefully this means my ancestral recall is resolving. Which means my Inti is going to get nice and big. Uh-huh. And then I, I feel like I'm supposed to jam here, too. So I'm going to go Fury pitching an Ancestral Anger. Killing your Lurus. And then uh, putting a bunch of counters on this thing. It's a 6-6 six, six. attack. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Hello? Hello? Lightning Bolt? No, I can't cast it! Ah, oh, sad day. So, so sad. Damn. That was pretty sweet, though. They have five cards in hand, including a dress down. Another Fury. So I'm going to just attack and discard an Ancestral Anger. Are they going to dis dress this down? No. Okay, they are going to... Okay, they're going to dress it down. Okay. That's fine. It's still a 7-7. Seven, seven. Should we play our Fury? As a 3-3, double striker. Oh, the ambush viper. Very nice. You got it. I'm gonna play a Dreadheart Arcanist. 
And I'm going to play a Fury as a 3-3 double striker. <laughs> yes. Very good. Very good. Yes. Oh, I love Blue Black Luris, man. What a good time. Oh, God bless. Should we make any changes here? I kind of like how we're boarded, though. Like, there's some value in a Pyroblast, right? But not that much value. Ah, uh, I'm just going to submit. Where's my I'm gonna keep this hand, right? This this fan this hand feels like a keep. On the draw with a probe, with a mox in, double strip. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this hand. Hopefully they don't play third if Black Lotus against us. We'll be okay. Mox Jet's a good one though. But at least it's a nice looking Mox Jet. Thought see? No, my blue black opponent didn't just thought seize me. All right, it's pretty good against me. I got got. I sure got got. They also get to know about my wasteland. Damn. I, I have been got here, I must say. I was not going to beat a thought seize with this. And a fetch land? What a brutal sequence. Uh, oof. Third wasteland effect. Fatal push? Oh no, they have a removal spell too. It's okay, their only threat is a saga, so it's fine. I really would have liked a, fe a fetch there. I guess they would have just fatal pushed my Dreadhorde and everyone would be sad. Nope. No Saga Gaming. A Mystical Tutor. Oh, I guess I should have played the Strip Mine out. Oh, well. My bad. That was a mistake. Emerald. So annoying that they have the on color mocks for Luris. So they could like fetch here, get wastelanded, it's fine, buy a Luris, and then top deck an underground sea. Very annoying. Another ancestral anger. This is certainly a Luris diff if I've ever seen one. It does. You are correct. There's a nice little gold border around the text box now. All right. All right, well, I can't do anything because my mana base doesn't work, like, apparently. Aha! Uh, I will cast a Dreadhorde, I guess. Hmm, seems kind of bad, actually. I should just uh, fetch an island. Oh, I don't have an Ancestral left in my deck. What do I have left in my deck? Uh, there's no... There's no oh, shit. There's no... Um... Oh my god, they drew a Wasteland. There's no Ancestral left in my deck. If I had a treasure cruise, I could I could get a see the truth. I get a brainstorm. I mean, tutoring a a Lorian is not very good here. 
Like, tutoring a Lorian is, like, bad value, right? I don't think that's actually a good play. Uh, I'm going to draw a Lightning Bolt. Oh, boy. We are in trouble. They have more Moxen than we do, and they have a Lurus. I guess, to be fair, Moxen wouldn't help us very much. Unless it was on color. Yeah, but our whole opponent's deck doesn't do anything ever, so... So they could attack my strip my Oh, that is annoying. That is so annoying. They can play a Lurus this turn if they want to. Oh, in combat, I'm gonna wasteland them. Like, what are we doing here? Why are we passing? Why are we passing priority here? What does that make? How does that ever make sense? You gotta do something with the Tolarian Academy. Uh oh. Okay, so they're just using this opportunity to hit my strip mine. I guess that makes sense. Okay, maybe that play was shit then. Okay, maybe that play was shit. Can I not do that? Huh. Interesting. I didn't really consider this consequence here. I mean, it's still not, like, great for them. Because they can't add Lurus in the beginning of combat. We're going to cast a Dress Down. Cycle a Dress Down. Oh! How is that the worst possible thing that could have ever happened to me? Oh, man. He's running circles around me. That's so bad. That is so bad. Okay. All right. So they have Fatal Push, Fluster Storm, Dress Down, and then three unknowns. That's the only punish, though, there, right? Like, I feel like that's the only punish there. I'm not crazy, right? Hand of Sapphire? Oh. Oh, things are bad. Things are real bad. I'm still supposed to natural draw, though. Okay. What are we doing with that? Nothing. Casting Fury. I feel like we have to cast a Fury and, and go to town here. Hopefully they didn't hit a force of will. Trust down that. See if I care. If this resolves, I, um, uh, they can combo kill me. But that's, I mean, they have dress down, I guess, so they can turn it off of double striking. Ah, they drew, a, they had a force. All right. So their hand is fatal push, flusterstorm, one unknown. Luris is still in exile. Hmm. Oh, wow, they drew another Wasteland. That is a miserable experience. Wasteland is just a disgusting magic card. Just absolutely disgusting magic card. I, I hate that this card exists. It is so lame. Holding up Fatal Pu uh, Fluster Storm, but not Fatal Push. All right, well, I need to draw land. That is, like, kind of a land... I'm going to play this Dreadhorde and make them have uh, to use their Fatal Push. 
Better use of my mana. Also, if they Fatal Push, they can't play Luris this turn. And they have to Fatal Push, because there's an Ancestral Recall. Oh, they drew another Underground Sea. Oh, they're not going to play Luris this turn. They're just going to play Fatal Push with Flusterstorm back up. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Everything is bad. Everything is very bad. I need my own Luris. All right, so you have to Fatal Push this in the beginning of combat. I have no way to play around it. You got it. And then... I have to wait till my turn to Bolt. This Mystical is so bad now that I have no Ancestral, right? I can't also can't Gush because I don't have enough lands. I mean, it still gets like Time Walk if I was winning, right? But I'm not winning. Oh, no. A Top Deck Saga? Oh, that is the worst possible outcome after I've lost three of my five Strip Mines. Everything has gone horribly here. I think I'm supposed to Mystical for a Ponder. I, I need to hit a Wasteland or I lose, right? So, I mean, I could technically get a Shattering Spree, but it's actually not good into their Flusterstorm. I kind of need to Ponder and hit a Wasteland, right? I think that's true. So this is why you don't play pump spells. Did not hit a wasteland. It's probably a shuffle then. Nope. I think we lose. That top deck saga was so good. Because if they were just going to go Luris, they don't really have anything to play with Luris. We untap and bolt it. Wait, the log doesn't say if we shuffled anymore. <laughs> The what happened? The the ponder log doesn't say if we shuffled anymore. Oh my gosh. It's okay. Legacy players will be all about reporting that one. Alright, I do think we've lost this game, unfortunately. Everything kind of went downhill after that, thoughtsies. Oh, they drew both sagas. Didn't we already waste a saga in this game? So there were three sagas in their top 19? Seems pretty good. This is the spot I need to have dress down, and I don't have a dress down in my deck, right? So it seems pretty impossible. Uh, I am going to cycle this anger. Hopefully that resolves now. Snap push? <sighs> yeah. All right. We've been bested. It happens to the best of us. I had no chance. Unlucky. All right, welcome to round three. Our opponent is Domotoro. You may remember them from the um, Yorion cheat and Emrakul into play uh, video. <laughs> uh, so they're a bit of a brewer, so it should be pretty exciting. This hand like, seems pretty nice. Has a force of will, has cantrips. Kind of like it. Obviously, Ancestral Anger is kind of the worst card in our deck. Um, but I, I wanted to make sure that I still respected the deck donator's theme while trying to make it as good as possible. So, like, Ancestral Anger is, like, a better way of playing these ground spells, Might of Corrosa's scale-ups. Like, obviously, pump spells in general are terrible in this deck, but, like, you know, I'm trying my best to execute on an idea. Um... So far, we have attacked for five. We we attacked an enlisted flame sage for five. We didn't hit a Lorien revealed, so we came pretty close to uh, hitting our goal. But we didn't get there. This is a basic swamp. I don't exactly know what that means. Could mean anything, really. Our hand's pretty good against Thoughtseize this time. Not great against Grief Reanimate, though. 
Yeah, that's kind of what I thought was happening. Our opponent has been playing some uh, scam with Dothy Voidwalker and Ravenloft Adventure, the initiative black creature. Um, is there any value in forcing this at all? There's like no value in forcing this, right? So we just let them take our hand apart here and call it a day. They just take our force and then they grief reanimate. Yeah, there are some saw in halves as well. Um, oh, did they just dark ritual saw in half? Holy shit. <laughs> what a beast. Uh, okay. My opponent has executed the combo here. Their whole hand is gone, and they get two griefs. We don't have a fury in the main. If we had a f oh, there are only two ones though, so maybe we're okay. That's a pretty fast clock though. All right, there's an inti. Uh, do we want a Lorian revealed or another land? Probably a Lorian revealed. Oh, I guess I probably should have put the Lorien revealed in our hand in case they draw like a Thoughtseize. I'm not sure if they play a Thoughtseize, but. Yeah, they're unblockable. That is true. We have one Bolt in our deck. Uh, it might not be enough. We might not have enough to be able to kill this start. Post board, obviously, we have Furies, which would be very good here. I mean, maybe there's a race with a time walk happening here. It's possible. Black mana. Attack. I'm at oh they attacked with one. They're they're what what? Uh, do they know this is getting bigger? Attacking with one doesn't make any sense. Dark ritual saw in half? Dark ritual, what the hell is that? That's an initiative creature. Ah, so they're going to block. Oh okay. My opponent has drawn some nice ones here. Dreadward Arcanist. So now if they block, they trade, huh? All right, I think we're supposed to cast Ponder. Hmm. Those cards are not very good, but they do, they do give me a land. Wait, I could see the truth here, right? So I can draw my Wasteland and... No, no. Yeah, I can draw Wasteland and then see the truth on my attack. But is that even good? I lose my Inti. I mean, I have to attack. I don't have to attack. I can draw the Wasteland and play a Dreadhorde Arcanist. And then draw C Lorien revealed, and then see the truth on the next turn. And I can do that in a way where I cast Dreadhorde? No, I can't do that in a way. I can double Ancestral Anger. Man, this thing's a 1 5? That's a problem. What am I trying to draw exactly? Time Walk? Bolt. I mean, I have to cast Red Horde this turn, so maybe there's just no attack. Maybe I just go C, Lorien, Wasteland, draw, cast. But then I'm then they're forging. I'm just never beating forging. I mean, I'm never I'm never getting the initiative here, right? So there's no point. Man, my opponent playing another threat this game is very unlucky for me because. Like, they were on Mox and Ruby. It's very hard for them to get another threat into play, but they, they managed. So I think we're just going to get trapped out of this game then. Well, I guess I have a double block here, actually. Um, That's pretty good. Because they can't kill both of these. So they have to probably kill Dreadhorde Arcanist, I would assume. Oh, they're going to kill Inti. Okay. So I know there's a lore. I need to shuffle now, right? Because I don't want to draw See the Truth anymore. I 
I drew another land. All right, I'm going to cast Ancestral Anger on this Dreadhorde Arcanist. I drew a Prophetic Memory. Ooh. That's good, right? And then it becomes a 4-5. And then I cast another one, and I get to take the initiative. Oh, I'm going to die, right? I take 3... Go to eight, go to three. I mean, I have to take, I have to get damage in, right? I have to get damage in. I feel like I can't win if I don't. So I hit them for five. I search the basic out of my deck. They hit me for eight. This is winnable. This is winnable. I think this is totally winnable with a time walk. I think this is totally winnable with a time walk here. Another black mana, attacking for two, down to nine, trapping down to four. Wow, what a cool game this has been. What a cool game this has been. Hmm. We have a mystical as well. Another Dreadhorde, that's good, it's a blocker. All right, so first I'm going to cast Ancestral Anger to draw a card. And then, oh, I have two blockers now. Okay, so now I can attack. Now I can attack and give it another counters, another counter, attack for five, and I can cast a Ponder or Brainstorm, I guess. Maybe Brainstorm. Let's go! Yes! Yes! Oh, I had a Lorian? Okay, you're right. I should have. I'll do it next turn. Next turn, I'll cast Lorian. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I didn't realize I had a Lorian. <laughs> yeah, I see that now. I, I didn't even think about it. I, I got up to five and I didn't even think about it. Okay, next turn we cast Lorian. I mean, they might concede before we cast Lorian, though. No, they're going to concede. No, I. <laughs> I mean, we did win the game, though. Okay, we could have cast Lorian with our with our Dreadhorde Argonist there. I just didn't didn't. <laughs> I can't believe we won that game. That's so sick. I mean, to be fair, even not hitting Time Walk there is pretty good because we get um two blockers, and we're okay. We're not gonna die. Ah. Uh, damn. I can't believe we won. <laughs> That's so cool. So, do we need force in this matchup? Is force good? Kind of feel like it isn't. I guess we'll keep one because all these other cards are not good against this matchup, though. I'm not going to bring in Leyline, right? So, probably fine. Oh, sorry, chat. I was too. I was too in the zone. I didn't even see the Lorian reveal. Damn. Okay, it's okay though because we could have cast Lorian revealed. We we could have done it. <laughs> Damn, this deck's so sweet though. 
we're going to play a bunch of decks that are kind of similar to this idea. Um, just because we're going to be playing a lot of that bird wizard come, come, uh, outlaws of thunder junction. I really like that card. This hand's really nice. Mental misstep is at its best against dark ritual. So I'm pretty excited about this hand as well. Damn, we got our Dreadhorde all the way up to five power and then just didn't. We, then we just didn't do it. <laughs> I'm going to blame the mudslide and nothing but the mudslide. Scab Clan Berserker. Yeah, that's a throwback. Dark Ritual? That's like a Dark Ritual. Nope. You think I need a basic here? I feel like it doesn't hurt. Ooh. I do want to force, though, don't I? My one force of will. Which ones do I want? Force. And gush. Force and flame sage. Probably force and gush. It's a little unfortunate. Fortune, I guess I can get wastelanded now when I get the volcanic. My one force looks really good on their mold of four here. A mental misstep is just so brutal against these kind of decks. I guess I have a gush for a wasteland, so maybe it's fine then. And the next turn I could theoretically gush into a flame sage if I wanted to. Probably not. Oh. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm overdrawing here a little bit. Whatever. Wasteland is so bad in this matchup. Maybe I should have boarded out Wasteland instead of Force of Will. Is that a, is that what I should have done? Oh wait, I have no maximum hand size. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I have no maximum hand size. <laughs> I didn't think that was ever going to be relevant. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> There's no way. Hardcast Fury. Hardcast Lorien revealed. Hardcast Lorien revealed for fun. No maximum hand size. I'm having fun now. I'm playing with my food. Sorry, chat. I have to. I have no maximum hand size. Oh my god. Look at my hand. Nine cards. Nine cards in that grip. Oh, they hit four mana. Is it the initiative? This is a four cost initiative creature. Whenever creature would control would die, put a hit counter on it and exile it. When he... Okay, that's fine. I want the initiative too. <laughs> that resolves <laughs> that's that one's gonna resolve <laughs> oh boy yep cast fury kill your raven loft adventure uh pass the turn I'm going to make the sickest one-turn double strike kill with this this memory. Oh my god, please don't concede, opponent. I would give my life for my opponent not to concede here. Do you know how we're going to we're going to one-shot them? We're going to draw 5 cards. Now we need to draw how many cards do we need to draw? 7. Seven's kind of hard. We're going to draw 7 cards and one-shot our opponent. I believe we have a gush. We've got ancestral anger. I feel like we can do it. What is this? Saw in half? Oh, Toxic Deluge. Okay, whatever, fine. Oh, true, it makes it twice as big. Alright, we're gonna Flame Sage them instead. Alright, I mean, we're gonna play everything, I guess. Flame Sage... Dreadhorde Arcanist. Did I play a land this turn? I want to save this gush for my memory, though. Oh, wait, I should do it this turn. Uh, have I played a land this turn? Anyone know? 
I hate it. I played a wasteland. Okay, never mind. I'll save it for next turn. I'm gonna go so many cards deep with my flame sage. It's gonna be sick. What is this? Uh this will put them in the catacombs. I can just fury their board away, right? So. Why not play the other Arcanist? Uh, I was thinking I might end up pitching the Arcanist to Fury. Which it does look like I'm going to do. Alright. Red. Blue. Gosh. Maybe it should have been red, red. <laughs> My opponent said, be right back, Googling in list. I'm going to draw so many cards on this turn. I'm going to draw with Kush, and then I'm going to Fury their board away, and then I'm going to draw with Lorien Revealed, and then I'm going to draw with Ancestral Anger and Ancestral Anger, and then I'm going to flash back Lorien Revealed. So I think I put both Ancestral Angers on the, um, on the Flame Sage, and then... And then put all the counters on the 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 Dreadhorde Arcanist. I could have had to see the truth. All right, I'm gonna put my counters on the Dreadhorde Arcanist. I said it's an eight ten. It's an eight ten. Quick, 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 quick! Lorian revealed. Lorian revealed. Yes. Yes, screenshot equity. Uh, holy sh! <laughs> oh, oh, GG opponent, GG. All right, I'm going to cast my Lorian revealed with my Dreadhorde Arcanist, and then I am going to cast Lorian revealed with my Kelvin Flame Sage. And then my opponent is going to go to two, and then I'm going to lightning bolt them. Oh, no, they're going to one? Oh, I did the math wrong. Uh, in that case, the time walk is still in my... I guess, they, I guess we'll let them have a turn, I guess. Because, I don't know, why not? Let's cast a merchant scroll. For a mystical tutor, sure. Why not? Wow, that was a hell of an experience, wasn't it? We just checked off every single box we could have done. We we had maximum hand size. We cast a Lorian revealed off a of Dreadhorde Arcanist. We cast a Lorian Revealed off of Flame Sage. The only thing we haven't done is flashback Anarchy. <laughs> Sinpai, did I do did I do a good job? Did I pump the creature enough? Have I have I made it work? Yo, why is there a blue pump spell? Anyone know? <laughs> anyone anyone know why a blue pump spell exists? <laughs> oh man. What a banger this was, huh? Damn. Okay, that felt good. That was sweet. <laughs> I don't know what we're waiting for now. I have a Force of Will, so they can't even go Throne of the Dead here. Ah. All right. I'm gonna end the I'm gonna end the recording. Oh, there we go. Oh, they lost connection to the game. Oh, they're back. Now they can see. Did they cast a spell first? Theoretically, if they draw an initiative creature and then they hit something really good off the Throne of the Dead, but I have I have my one Force of Will, so played around it really.
Maybe you're supposed to have one force of will so you can mystical tutor for it and merchant scroll for it. <laughs> oh, holy, holy moly. That was sweet. That was, that was, that was a play. And we didn't even have to discard our, any cards to hand size. Uh, okay. I will, I will forge. <laughs> oh. All right, we are now two and one on to round four. This hand's great. Well, it's not great. I don't have a force. But they're playing Luris, so. Ah, I don't have a wasteland either. Could be a problem. They always have a Moxon, huh? They always have two Moxon, huh? They always have two Moxon at top. Wait, wait, wait. Two at top. Combo oriented deck. I don't. We kind of need to draw a wasteland right now. And even if. Ooh, we draw a force is not bad. I'm like kind of worried my Dreadhorde is not going to be able to attack through a 5 5 or whatever this is. Too many Moxon. I only have. Uh, I don't even have a Shattering Spree in my main, right? Ah, uh, it's probably not good. The difference between Saga and Saga with two Moxon is quite substantial. I don't know if we can actually beat this without drawing. I mean, we kind of needed to draw a Wasteland immediately. I, I I knew our deck was a little light on Saga answers. Um... Maybe we should just play a Shattering Spree in the main. Oh, double Saga, double Moxon. That's not good. Yeah, this is a 4-4, four four, and I can't actually ever kill a 4-4. Four four. That's a good draw. Maybe this ends up being a trade. I'm going to Ancestral Anger my Arcanist. Well, actually, this makes it super... This, this, uh... This butt is so big that maybe it's actually fine. Wait a second. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. I can't beat the, the next constructs, but I can beat the first construct. <laughs> I didn't put enough main deck saga answers, though. Sad Justin. I mean, this attack gets through, which is better than nothing. And then next turn, we can flash back a Lorien revealed. I just don't think that's good enough to win. Because <laughs> I don't have enough, I don't have enough, like, actual answers to constructs in the main. Take five, I guess. I mean, that was really good. If I simply, like, played a few answers in my deck to Saga tokens, we would definitely be winning here. Damn. If only I was good at deck building. Super sad. All right, so what do I need? I can still win this game, right? So my opponent, like, makes some constructs or whatever, and then we draw Ancestral Recall, which will pump our, our memory guy. Or a Lotus would let us cast Lorien Revealed and then cast Lorien Revealed. Uh, yeah. I needed to play a Shattering Spree in the main or a Dress Down in the main, right? Those are kind of my options. We're probably at a point where you can play a Shattering Spree in the main. We have Inti to discard it. Ah, uh, Justin, bad deck building. Bad deck building. They got a Black Lotus? Why wouldn't they get a Soul Ring here? An attack? Attack is good for me. I feel like they should have gotten a Soul Ring here, right? Mm, we're just not really... I guess you could play a deck in this deck. Alright, Ancestral Recall. Best draw. Force of Will. That's pretty frustrating. 
I actually think Dak is pretty good in the saga. Like, it's still good here. It's not great, but it's still good here. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna go Inti, and then I'm gonna cycle my Lorian revealed and try to hit an ancestral recall. I feel like that's my out. Or I guess I could hit a um, maybe a gush. I drew a wasteland. This wasteland is so late, though. The wasteland is so late. Ah, that's super frustrating. Maybe they'll attack badly or something. The Space Lane would have been really good a turn earlier. I just, if I had a dress down in my deck at all, I feel like this game was actually really easy, right? Like, obviously, this is a strong sequence. Like, I, I'm not saying this isn't strong, but this isn't something that you can't build your deck to beat. And it's kind of on me as a deck builder to build decks that can beat this sequence. If I have a, sh uh, a shattering spree in my deck, if I have a dress down in my deck, like I, I, those are not unreasonable cards to play in general. And they're just absurd here where my opponent has no blue mana for their combo. And they're entirely banking on three cards that are very easy to deal with. It's kind of frustrating because it, it's my fault. But I didn't, I, you know, I, I put too many spaces in my deck to try to make the fun thing happen and not enough in my deck to make the deck good. The good news is post board, we have lots of answers. So there's the soul ring. So they drew it. I guess it technically saves me life to force to mental misstep this. Oh, I guess not. Cause now I have to double jump. I mean, I guess I always have to double jump here, so I guess I can never win. That's super frustrating. Like, my opponent's draw is so weak to a dress down, they just can't win the game. <sighs> Stupid Justin. Oh, I'm gonna break my thing. That's not good. One second. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Like, I, I don't like. I don't think. I think this is a vintage power level play, but this is not a broken play. I think this is like totally acceptable to exist in the format. You should like build your decks to beat good cards, and I simply didn't build my deck to beat this kind of draw. It's my own fault. This deck was this 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 is like a very winnable game, and the problem is deck construction. It's very frustrating. Okay, so what do I do? Uh, I definitely want some number of shattering sprees, but not too many. And I think my opponent is on a combo oriented version because they're playing um, a sensei's top, which makes me want to play things like pyroblast and and negation. I don't know how we're gonna fit this many cards in our deck. That's a question. I think we just have to take out these Ancestral Angers um, and be more controlling. I feel like that's the way to go here. I feel like we could absolutely outvalue our opponent with some, some key hits here. The Island can go because our opponent's playing Combo and they're not playing uh, Wasteland. Um, I want to keep the Mystical Tutor because the Mystical Tutor is another copy of Shattering Spree. Probably only need a single see the truth, and I probably only need two idyllic memories. I, I idyllic memories. Oh wait, I don't need a lightning bolt. Lightning bolt is. I guess the lightning bolt kills Luris. They were Luris, right? We probably want a singleton answer to Luris in our deck. Okay, something like this is pretty good. Like obviously, there's no ch there's no um guarantee that i draw the card i need in that scenario but to be drawing dead in that scenario is a deck building issue is the way i, I would phrase it so this is great hand it has an answer to saga it has a turn one uh creature uh it has a counter spell for their combo so this is this is a great hand
It also has a double inti value because if we cycle Lorien revealed, that it triggers inti as well. Inti is just a great card. I love this card. Every time I play this card, I'm always impressed. It's just a sweet one. Basically, I'm just going to play Inti whenever I can. <laughs> Inti produces just great brain chemicals. Highly enjoy. Hmm. Saga Gaming. We're ready for that one. I think we're supposed to negate this Black Lotus. I kind of like negating this Black Lotus here. I feel like it'll really hamper my opponent's development. Never mind, I guess. They have a, a sap. <laughs> oh, Justin! They're gonna go, like, triple mox and PO? I guess... <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't play around. Uh, Lotus didn't matter. They actually had triple mox in as well. Sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. Oh, my new hand doesn't have an answer to Saga. My bad. <laughs> Dismember? Sicko. All right. Yeah, you got it. Oh. I've been beaten in the arena ideas. All right, here we go. It is round five. I guess I should pull the believers because uh, we are two and two. We had a, a poll. Will I finish with a positive record with this deck? We could. I kind of want to keep this hand. It's got a force. It's got a wasteland. So that covers most bad things that could happen. And then we have an ancestral to get our value back. Uh, I think this is a keep, right? I feel like this is a keep. I keep these kind of hands typically. Like, obviously, sometimes you lose. You don't draw your blue source or whatever, but... I don't know. I really like these kind of hands, typically. Because they have ones that have a force and a wasteland, so... For, like, force, wasteland, ancestral, no way to cast ancestral, I think is usually fine. It is a little unfortunate that I have to get a volcanic island here, but... Definitely think it's worth it to play a Dread Horde on curve. You have to be pretty aggressive to Wasteland here. I guess theoretically, if my opponent has a Force and a Wasteland, then it's fine. I usually like to play the Dread Horde on this one, though. Is this just Ancestral of their own? <laughs> Thought Scour. Hello? Murktide Region? Is it a blue-red battle? Oh my. A blue-red battle? That's exciting. Are they going to Wasteland me, then? Wasteland is just so bad if I have, like, Island Ponder. You're just super far behind. You think they're mono-blue? You think they're blue-red? You think they're blue-black? That's a Murktide region. They're blue-green! Wow. Okay. What does that mean? So I think the answer here is play a wasteland to play around Flusterstorm and Spell Pierce and then cast Ancestral Recall. There's other options like Wasteland the Tropical and then in draw. You can't be serious right now. I'm getting misdirected. I guess that that's not that bad because I can still flash back, but I mean, I guess if they have a second counter spell here, Flusterstorm, I can beat Spell Pierce. They have a force as well. All right, so my opponent has Mer so they're probably playing a uh, Beanstalk, right? Merktide Regent, Misdirection, kind of sounds like Beanstalk to me. 
So they pitched a second Merc Tide region. All right, so they're going to draw three cards with Ancestral. I probably should Wasteland right now, actually. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll still Wasteland right now before they draw a Gush or something. All right, the good news is after my opponent draws three cards, I still might draw three cards. We'll have to see. Oh, and an Island Cycle. Damn. That went so badly for me. I mean, it, it, it's not as bad as if they had just simply negated my card, but it was still pretty bad. I guess it's fine because there's probably 0% chance that they count. They, uh, I guess they could just draw a counter spell for this. All right. Well, are we both drawing three or is my opponent drawing three and I'm not? I guess that's the question here. Yep. Wow. They drew a fluster storm off of this. They drew a mental misstep off of this. What a joke. All right. Well, we got schooled. Misdirection, huh? Well, I still like the way we played this out. It just didn't work. All right. So, do you going to have a third Murktide Regent and play it? Or what do you got? Island, island. Third Murktide region. The good news is we have two Pyroblasts in our board. The bad news is we're dead. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. I've certainly been bested in the Oh, it's a it's a it's a whale. Alright, so it's definitely Beanstalk then. A whale is actually not that bad because we can draw bolts. I drew the mental misstep after I get mental misstepped. Can we be serious here? All right. I'm going to play a Inti so that I can attack with my Dread Horde. Oh, wait. This is a sick player, isn't it? Attack with my Dread Horde, trigger my Inti. Oh, it's not in my yard yet. This doesn't work. That's so sad. Uh, in that case, I think I should just discard my mental misstep. I think we're past the point of that card mattering. Moxon. All right, this, this blocks, but doesn't do anything. Next turn, we can cast two Merchant Scrolls. They attack and they bring back Lorien or Force. This game isn't lost yet, but it's definitely tough. Like we still have some good value in play. They didn't play an 8-8 Merktide region. Instead, they played a Spell Belly. What is this? They have a Merktide as well? Or they have another Spell Belly? How many Delve spells are you allowed to play in this deck? What the heck? So far, we've seen... Multiple Murktide regions and multiple spell bellies. Okay, so this I assume gets back force, right? Yeah, I got back force. But this is this still isn't that bad for me. I cast merchant, I attack with both things. I still think this is kind of good for me. Mystical Sanctuary. I don't I'm not convinced we're lost yet. Oh wow, this is a sick one too, right? So, what do we do? We have so many choices now. What do we do? Blue instant. Actually, we don't have that many blue instants left, do we? We have Gush. We can't cast Gush. We have Mystical Tutor. We have Mystical Tutor, Brainstorm, Gush. It's a blue, it's a blue instant. It's a blue instant. Um. Hmm. I mean, the first thing we do is we Lorien revealed, right? That's the first thing we do. And we get to get an Inti trigger off this and see what we draw off the Inti trigger first. We have a lot of things happening this turn. We have lots of things happening. A mox. All right, I mean, that's a free moxin, so we, we take those. 
I guess we could get Gush then. So we get a free Mox in. The problem is if we Gush, oh, I guess we will have cards to discard if we Gush. Okay, so I kind of like that then. So let's go Merchant Scroll. Oh, I should have played this to play around Spell Pierce. Ah. Okay, I can I can't beat Fluster Storm anyways there, so that's fine. So now what we do is they have a force in hand as their only card. They are one mana away from Lorien revealed. They can only return instants and sorceries. So we attack, we put the trigger on the Inti, we flash back the merchant scroll, and we pitch the volcanic. Attack, plus one, plus one on the Inti, flashback on the Merchant Scroll. Oh, I could have discarded the card off of the Merchant Scroll. I mean, Gush is still great, right? Even if I don't draw land, or should I keep Brainstorm? Maybe Brainstorm is better. Because I'm going to discard this land. I have to discard this land to get my 1-1 one, one counter. So I need to do that. What if I just discard the card I get off of Merchant Scroll and keep the land? It's probably worse. At least I hate a land. I could have played the land, gotten the gush, and then gushed. Yeah, I could have. I could have done that. And I Gush can't get countered. So yeah, I probably should have done that. I was worried about getting Gush countered, but I can't get Gush countered anymore. So I didn't reevaluate. Um, I'm just going to get the Brainstorm. That, that was a misplay, yeah. I should have done that. Uh, and I'm going to plus one, plus one on the Inti so that it trades if they want to trade. I hit an Ancestral Anger. All right. Well, I can't cast that, so... I have to discard a card, though, if I want the 1-1 one, one counter, so... But yeah, I, I could have done that in a better way. You're right. If I sequence it the right way, I can Merchant Scroll for a Gush with my land in play. Gush with the, the discard ability still on the stack. No, I'm not sure I can do that, actually. Um, It's not part of the cost, though, actually, right? So it's a trigger? Okay, so I can do that. All right, so they're trading one of the spell bellies, and they still can't deal with this Arcanist, and their hand is just... Uh, it's a, uh, their hand is just Force of Will. So if they don't draw a land this turn, they can't even, like, get back Lorien Revealed and cast it. So... They would have to get back Thought Scour and cast it. I, I don't actually think we're lost here. I, I because these <laughs> Ethereal Forgers are not um because they're not merchant Merktide regions. It's actually kind of funny because historically Ethereal Forger has been better than Merktide region in um this kind of deck. But he, in this certain scenario here, but that's mostly because people used to play lots of blasts. It's like better for your uh forger to get blasted than for um a work tie to get blasted. Not that much better though. All right, double mill. They milled negation lotus, drew a card. So their hand is force of will plus two. Um obviously hitting land drops gives them Lorien revealed next turn. We have at least double brainstorm as long as we don't get negated. That's a plus. Strip mine. So strip mine means it's harder for them to double negate us. So probably should do that. Or sorry, to hard cast negate us. So we probably should strip mine. And then cast brainstorm. They didn't float, so I'm just gonna cast main phase brainstorm here. We hit some magic cards. We can flashback brainstorm. It doesn't really do anything, but I guess we're just gonna do it anyways, right? I mean, it does. It draws us a card. 
So we'll have force up on our next turn, right? So I guess that's pretty good. None of these Moxen really do anything here, which is a little unfortunate. Obviously, getting Brainstorm is like worse than like casting a Ponder there, but I, I can't get a Ponder off of Merchant Scroll. I, I actually really regretting the missing the Gush line. Um, so I'll put the Force on top, and then next turn we can play Anger. If everything works out. Although I guess my Force is kind of garbage against their Force, right? So maybe this line kind of stinks. We know that there's an Arcanist underneath. Ah, Beanstalk. All right, well, we're definitely forcing Beanstalk because if we let it resolve, then their Force draws cards. So we probably get rid of their Force. The Beanstalk resolves. They get their Lorien revealed back, and then next turn they draw a million cards. The life totals are pretty close now. This is a close game. This is a very close game. Yeah, I get back's Lorien. If they hit a land, then they can cast it. Their hand is Lorien plus one. We know what we're drawing. Hopefully we draw another... Ugh, even getting back... It's not that good. I mean, we have to do it. We need to draw through this. Also helps the clock a little bit. Unfortunately, this still don't have enough to flash back a Lorien revealed. Kind of need to draw the prophetic memory instead. Ooh, we drew. We just keep drawing these things that we can only cast one spell a turn of. That card's really good here, though. I think it might be too late. If they play land Lorien, we might just be too far behind, though. Also, they can hold back this. Forger if they think they're going to die, which they could. Like, they could die to bolts, bolts. I guess they're always going to die to bolt, bolts. If they didn't hit a land, then things get really weird. They hit the land. So I assume they're just going to draw four here then, and then hold back their blocker. They have black in their deck. Interesting. Oh, they have time walk? Oh, they have, they drew a dig? Wow, they drew a dig. That's so silly. Damn. I feel like we could have just drawn better in this game. Obviously, the gush play was actually really bad. So maybe the gush play was just the... We lost the game on the gush play, so... Yeah, I think I threw this game by not making the gush play. That's kind of frustrating. But that's that one's on me again, so... It's pretty crazy that we could win this game after getting our Ancestral misdirected and then our Ancestral mis Mental misstepped. We got... We got Ancestral worse than countered, and then countered. Wow. It's pretty cool that we almost won this game, though. I just can't imagine that this Dig Through Time doesn't find them a Force, in which case we just are dead, right? Or even a Time Walk is pretty good, too. Another Beanstalk. Three cards in hand. Another Beanstalk, three cards in hand. That's not that bad. Could have been a lot worse. They're at five. Like, there's a lot of things they could die to here. They probably are going to hold back the whale, right? No? Okay. I'm at five. What's my best draw? Strand? they have a force they just draw three off of it this gives me at least lethal i'm gonna fetch because i'm only at yeah, no reason not to fetch here. I guess I can get days now. Maybe I should have sequenced in the other order then. I mean, I'm always playing both, but like, this one's more valuable. I was kind of hoping to beta force on this one almost. All right. Well, I don't know. There's still a chance we win this game. If they just have nothing in hand. 
And we attack with our team. All right, your move, opponent. You got four cards in hand. Hurt me. There's so many ways we die here. It's crazy. But we could also win. They don't have a they don't have a way to block here without something else that saves them. What a wild match this was. Pretty fun. Played some Legacy, basically. Legacy with Moxon. I'm kind of jealous of the opponent's deck. Seems like it's super fun. Probably has some serious downsides against other decks in the format, but again, in a blue mirror, there seems like there's a lot of value there. This is game one. That's true. It is a part of a match, though. Isn't Arcanist banned in Legacy? Yeah, I guess it is. Should it be? Pre all the Delver spells. <laughs> I see so many so many complaints on Twitter recently about Legacy, about how the all the best decks are Scam and Ancient Tomb or whatever. They didn't know what they had till it was gone. Yeah, Thought Scour is a good one for us. That's a that's a card that doesn't kill us immediately. They milled us. They milled us. Why wouldn't? They, why would they mill us? That means they're dead. They should mill them, right? <laughs> bring back, bring back Delver. Long live Delver. Dress down. Draw a card. I think we're winning. They're 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 missing. They're missing. They're spinning their wheels. They're spinning their wheels. I don't have to cast any spells. I can just attack. As long as I don't cast that ponder and give them a force of will. Wait, are we going to win this game? There's just no way. There's just no way. Oh, no, they're tapping mana, chat. They're tapping mana. Please don't tap any mana. No, they drew a Merc Tide. Draw three. It's a 3-3. Three, three. All right, we still have an attack here now. Now we have to cast spells. At least it's not an 8-8. Eight, eight. Thank you, Dress Down. All right, five cards in hand for my opponent. I drew an Inti, but I don't have a card to discard. So... Oh, wait, wait, wait. If I... Well, I guess we'll find out if I stack it. If I stack it so that I draw uh, the Ponder first... All right, we have a lot of things happening here. All right, so I attack with everything into their three threes. And then we stack these triggers. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, maybe I should have enlisted. I guess I should have enlisted this one one onto this guy. My bad. Okay, so the last thing we do is Inti, and that might give us plus one, plus one, and trample on this thing. And then this Dreadhorde is going to target Ponder. I guess they both have to target Ponder. All right, and then I also have this thing. Oh, maybe I should have done this thing at the very end so that if I did get the Inti, I could have gone one card deeper. Damn. No, you can only enlist non-summoning sick things. So I think how I should have played this turn is I should have not attacked with this Dreadhorde, use the Dreadhorde to enlist, and then sequence this differently. So I, I didn't... I, I failed. I failed the test. Okay, I missed. So I, sh I sure hope my next card down wasn't a thing I could hit with this Flames Age. Uh, Alright, I'm going to Ponder. I mean, they'll probably just counter this Ponder, right? And then it all doesn't matter. No, they did not counter the Ponder. All right, well, none of these cards I could have hit with Flame Sage, so that's fine. Um, If I keep any of these cards, it looks bad. So I'm going to get rid of... I mean, I want to keep this memory, but I think it's too late, right? Because if I keep the memory, I have to discard the memory to give this thing plus one, plus one. They kill this, and they... Trade here. But the problem is, 
I think I'd rather just have a random card. Because the second card down, I want to hit off of Inti still. All right, well, that's un okay. So yeah, that does nothing. That does nothing. And then we discard this Force of Will to make this thing a 3-4. I guess it's a 3-4. That's not too bad. So they actually might only kill like one Dreadhorde this turn. So maybe the attack isn't even that bad. So then I discard and I put the attacking creature plus one plus one counter on this guy. I could draw a bolt. I drew a land. Sick. Okay, yeah, I should have done this in a different order. This spell should have been my... Well, it's a little awkward because if this spell hits a ponder, I want to hit the ponder before... I still think it was the wrong order, though. All right, so now what are their blocks? They can't double block. Because they'll die. So they're going to just chump block the Flame Sage and then keep one thing alive with the Stred Horde and go to two. Uh, yeah. I mean, this doesn't look that bad. This card doesn't do anything because I can't crack it, but... I mean, my opponent can still hit Time Walk, right? And then I just die. So, it's probably not great for me. I didn't hit off my Flame Sage there, though. But I definitely should have had Flame Sage last so that I could have pondered and, like, known my card, right? Yeah. Wait, why didn't they cast Lorien Revealed? What am I missing? Did they just not cycle a Lorien reveal that they could have cast for six cards? They failed to find an island. Oh, they're 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 doing a delve spell. They're playing another Murktide Regent. That's got to be worse than drawing six, right? Or drawing six would have let them hit land time walk. Like playing another blocker here doesn't matter. Like they're dead on board. I'm dead? I mean, I'm currently not dead. They failed to find an island off Lorien Revealed. They failed to find an island off of Misty Rainforest. Ah, they're going to pump their Murktide. I see. I see. So I am dead. That's unfortunate. That's the one card needed to pump Murktide. Ah, so unfortunate. I mean, I, I played this turn badly, right? I needed to stack my things in a different order. If I had stacked my things in a different order, could we have won? Yeah, I could have given this trample, right? Also, if I had enlisted, I would have gotten plus one and then been able to trample as well. Yeah, there's definitely ways we could have won this game. I think I just played badly multiple times. Like, the gush play was super bad. But we also just, like, missed on multiple shots there as well. Brutal. Because I put them the one they can't fetch either. Damn. Okay. I mean, I, I played badly. I haven't played that matchup in a while. I'm going to play Pyroblast, and I'm going to play Ley Lines. I think Ley Lines super good against their deck. And then... I think I'm going to take out Ancestral Anger... And Mystical... I didn't see Wastelands from them, right? Island? How many cards do I have? Nine, thirteen, sixteen, plenty. 13, 16, plenty. Yeah, I think I'm going to play like this. Yeah, that was, that was all on me, though. Like, I, I just made multiple mistakes in that game, so... I need two Vol- I mean, yeah, we drew too many mocks and not enough Volks. That's also true. Keep. Um... Alright, well, I'm just gonna go Vol Ponder with Pyroblast up. 
Looking for a creature, basically. That's a creature. Yeah, we keep these. Um, in case we get thought scoured, it's probably better to just draw the creature. I mean, this is a great hand against their deck. Though I guess I technically have no answers for a resolved beanstalk, so I guess that's a problem. I guess that's a problem. Probe. All right. Man, I'm so sad about game one. I just played like a dingus. Okay, moving on. Got to win two games here. <laughs> Didn't draw a ley line in my opening hand, so hopefully we don't draw a ley line later. <laughs> Do I want the second ponder underneath here? I kind of feel like I don't, right? I feel like that's not necessary. Yeah, I, I think just that game was pretty awkward, right? This is a dismember? Oh, it's just a consider? Sure. They kept the card on top with consider. <sighs> Man. All right. Lots of people will be boarding in Graph Digger's Cage against my four Dark Red Horde Arcanist deck. I can still pump this thing, though, so. Small upsides. Do I want to tap this Wasteland? I mean, they can get another basic island if they want. I think I'd rather have access to more blue car uh, blue mana sources here. I'm surprised that resolved. I can't get rid of this cage, by the way. I didn't bring in anything that gets rid of the cage. These are sweet ones. Uh, let's do another ponder to make the most damage. I think I want all these cards that are coming down the pipeline here. Keldon Flame Sage is a good one too. So I think we. Draw, Merchant, draw, Force on the next turn. Hmm. Merchant gets Scroll. Do I even want Force? Maybe I just take Merchant this turn, take Flame Sage next turn. Scroll for Gush. Yeah, it seems better. All right, well, I get how many? Three? Three prophetic memory counters there. Attack with a 4-6. I built my own Murktide Regent. I could flash back a Ponder. But I can't flash back a Ponder. Is that Justin? I mean, they can't dismember this anymore, right? So, how do they kill it? What is this? They have Fatal Push? They're splashing Fatal Push? Wow, really? That's crazy. Why wouldn't you splash swords? What are you getting from else from black? You're getting maybe demonic? 
I can't believe they just splashed Fatal Push. There's no, there's no shot. Really? All right. They're going to get a, a boy here, a tropical, uh, some bean stalks here. God, if they uh, counter my flame sage here. Hmm. I don't think I'm wastelanding them at this point. Force draw card. Um. Kind of need this flame stage to be pumped, right? <laughs> Maybe they just don't have any. Re I don't actually need it to be pumped, but. I drew the second Pyroblast, which is good. I drew the Ley Line of the Void, which is bad. <sighs> kind of want to draw like an Inti now to discard the... Uh, of course. Sure. Why not? Why not? <sighs> That's so sad. <laughs> Uh, you do have a black jet, huh? Damn. This is a Murktide draw card or a Spell Belly draw card. If our Pyroblast doesn't resolve. I don't know how we're winning. Oh, it's just a Murktide. Okay. How big is this? An 8-8? Eight, eight. I don't actually have any way to force this through, so it kind of just needs to resolve. Yeah, I mean, our opponent somehow has a deck that has more value than our deck. Oh god, they're Mystical Sanctuary back in Ancestral. Somehow our opponent's deck is even more value-oriented than our deck. That's crazy. You can always go deeper, chat. You can always go deeper. All right. Well, we are hinging on a Pyroblast here. I drew another Leyline of the Void. That is a problem. Made the window. Survey says. Ooh, Merc tied down. Okay. Still don't think we're going to win this game. I can't hit a Lorien revealed off this Flame Sage, which is probably not great for me. What can I really hit here? I can hit the See the Truth, I guess. Uh, all right. Well, I attack with my Flame Sage. It has four power, unfortunately. Time Walk would be a good one. Lightning Bolt. Damn. All right. Bolt you. I'm out of removal. So if they play another creature, I can't win the game. <laughs> it's all gone. It's all in my yard. I don't feel like we drew very well, unfortunately. I did board in the Ley Lines, um, but I think the Ley Lines are definitely worth playing. I just didn't have one in my opener, and I was never mulliganing my opener, so... My opponent cast their second Ancestral Recall after Mystic Sanctuarying it back. Which means I don't believe we can win. Because their opponent's going to just play another uh, Delve spell here. Draw a card. Make a blocker. Ah, so they are splashing for Demonic Tutor. So they, I assume they have another removal spell then. Or maybe they're just searching for a Murktide. I can't beat another Murktide, right? Because I can't flash back my Brett Pyroblasts. Yeah. 
I used the Pyroblast maybe too aggressively. I have just drawn absolutely nothing of value, huh? There's like nothing I can even hit. I have to wait and see if I can draw a draw spell to make this thing bigger. But it's not going to resolve. It's going to get flustered. Uh, this is, seems like a tough matchup. Though I feel like this, this my opponent probably can't play the game if I play a ley line, right? Maybe they have some nature's claims or something in their deck, but... I can't imagine my opponent's deck fun functions through a ley line. That's one of the big reasons why Murktide decks were really, really bad. Uh, there used to be a lot of ley lines running around. Maybe the, maybe Murktide deck could be a little bit better now that there are less ley lines. And But I kind of don't know that this deck is going to have a better draw engine than Alluris deck. Time walk into kill me. Yeah. I mean, I drew some of the cards that are really good in this matchup. I did draw both Pyroblasts, so I can't complain too much. Uh, it just did not work out. Pretty brutal. Our deck worked pretty well, though. I must I must say, for, for how it looked, I think our deck worked out pretty okay. I needed to hit a lot better off that one Flame Sage attack as well. Now, this doesn't actually kill my opponent, kill me, right? But it kind of kills me. All right, so my opponent has to have zero counter spells in hand, and then I need to draw Ancestral into Brainstorm into Time Walk. Memory. Okay. Technically, lets me attack, so if it resolves. <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess it I should probably expect it won't resolve. Oh, it did resolve. Alright, I will draw a card. I drew a Mox Jet. Alright, I will attack with my Flame Sage after putting a plus one plus one counter on it. I need to hit a time walk off this and it has to resolve. And that would be winning. I hit a Lorien Revealed. So I will cast Lorien Revealed off of my Flame Sage, which is one of our bingo cards, so. Can technically pay for Fluster at the moment. But I don't have any more counters, really. Uh, all right, so they did have a Force. Okay, so I die. Not bad, not bad. Good try. They are going to jump block my, my Forge Master here. My Flame Sage. I don't know why it looks like a Forge Master to me. All right, not a bad run, not a bad run. I can't be too mad. I didn't play well enough to win this set at all. So lots of little intricacies in the sequencing there that I was not attuned to. A pretty good showing, all things considered. I think this deck performed, performed pretty well. Um, I like a lot of what's going on. We talked about it a little bit in, um, in between rounds, but I think the answer is probably you should be playing one Pyroblast and one Spree in your actual deck so that you can, uh, tutor for them. Does that give you enough blue cards is a question. 23, you're still good. So I think the answer is you're supposed to play it a little bit more like the previous, um, control decks where you have a bunch of these answers that you can find with your cantrips and with your mystical tutor. Because uh, just simply having a shattering spree in your deck will give you more chances to beat like a super crazy construct draw. And having a blast is just going to give you some some leeway against different um, things that are happening. Um, but overall, I mean, it worked out pretty well. Theoretically, you probably are supposed to cut Flame Sage and play Alluris and maybe play white cards. You can play Swords of the Plowshares. But I think this worked out pretty sweet. Um, the Ancestral Anger is definitely not good, but it wasn't bad enough that it was, you know, uh, horrendous. <laughs> it definitely worked out in our favor a few times, so. 
I am pretty happy because we were able to cast Lorien Revealed off of both of Dreadhorde Arcanist and Kel uh, Flame Sage multiple times. So I don't think Birthday Escape is a playable magic card. So that's that's why I didn't respond to that message about Birthday Escape. Um, I don't really feel like becoming a ring bearer is something that I care about typically. But it is blue, so maybe it's okay. Draws a card and, and you become kind of unblockable, right? So maybe, maybe. It's probably better than Ancestral Anger. Possibly? I don't know. I guess... I don't know. Trample was kind of relevant for Flame Sage, but I guess if you make Flame Sage unblockable, unblockable as well. How does it read? It's, it's, it's if they're smaller than you or they're larger than you. Uh, I gotta read it again. Uh, the ring bearer is legendary and can't be blocked by greater power. I, I'm just like not sure. I, that's good when we don't pump our guys, but it's not good when we do pump our guys. But then I guess if you go twice, then you start looting, and looting is good. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's fine. I, I just didn't think that card was very powerful, which is why I chose not to play it. Uh, and I definitely think we were able to hit some thresholds because of the anger, but we never actually got plus two plus zero off the anger because we kept flashing it back with Arcanist. So, um, yeah. It doesn't require a target. I mean, everything is probably better than anger. That's probably true. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I mean, I probably wouldn't play this deck again, so I don't have to think about it. <laughs> but I do appreciate, as always, the monthly Sinpai donation deck list. It's always a banger. We are able to make it work. Uh, if you want to see your deck list played on this channel, we have some sweet ones coming down the pipeline. Everyone's favorite, uh, Fast Bond Aficionado Schultz has a, has a donation deck list coming. Uh, definitely check out the Patreon link in the description below where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. If you like this content, there's always more vintage content happening on this YouTube channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, streams are going to be a little bit weirder now. We got Wednesday night streams, uh, and then we might have a Friday night challenge or a Saturday afternoon challenge depending on the week. So keep in tune for that. I will post that on uh, the Discord and Twitter when it happens. Uh, I'll see you then. Thank <laughs> you.